Yeah, well, I mean, we, I always tell people who come to visit here that, that if the public doesn't participate, we don't have a recycling program. We can put in the best Dutch sorting equipment in the world, and we can have fantastic personnel there and qualified supervisors and everything, but if the public doesn't participate, there's no recycling program. New York has, has recently have set some very ambitious goals to really move to zero waste and to reduce carbon emissions substantially over the, in the coming decades. Um, so we we're I'm glad for that. You know, public policy is important and public awareness and focus on this is a great thing. And we're actually now in a position with this facility to help make that a reality. It's not just a study, it's not just a recommendation or a series of goals. We actually have the physical plant in place for at least the recycling portion of the city's goals. They have many goals dealing with composting and renewable energy, but for at least the recycling portion of the city's goals, we have the infrastructure in place now. Obviously it's big because it's uh, servicing New York City, which is a big place. I think the population of New York is now eight and a half million people. And this plant is designed to handle about two thirds of that. And between those facilities, we handle 100% of the metal, glass, and plastic coming out of New York City. You know, I would say Bolograph is a big player in this business. It's a pretty specialized business, making equipment for MRFs. It was also a pleasure to work with the Bolograph engineers. We went to Holland and, uh, and spent a couple of days with them, working through all of the very detailed decisions about transitions and points of doing quality control and so on. Um, so it was a good experience. You know, what we look for an equipment vendor is someone who's willing to uh, work with us to put together an assemblage of equipment that is the best for our application.